Good uh, evening. I'm good and uh, I welcome you for around 90 minutes because now we have started now on a series uh, stretch of uh, predicting uh, what we are likely to have uh, come an exam. We promise that we were to have a certain magazine and I'm having it here today. This is the magazine that we are having. We are, ha we are having a lot of predictions on several areas where we expect uh, exams to be tested from. Without wasting time, allow me to discuss what you call um, the fishing industries in Africa. Because uh, uh, as you can see on my screen, I have some uh, fishing methods that uh, we are likely to have uh, uh, during the KCP exam. Uh, the first one is uh, a troller or the trolling method, whereby we have uh, a port or a ship that acts as a troller that pulls the net. And uh, a troller or the trolling method, as you can see it is somewhere here. The trolling method, uh, this is uh, one of the most common fishing method that we use it in uh, marine fishing. Uh, it is best when we use it in deep sea. And in fact, you can see what I've written here, that uh, it is being used in deep sea and uh, catches fish in large quantities. It is also, we can also say that uh, it is being used near the seabed. So we are likely to have this fish method. This is the first prediction of the fishing method that is likely to be tested uh, come uh, uh, the end of this month. So boys and girls who are listening and watching this clip, we have this method of fishing trolling, highly tested and also we are likely to have it. It is known as a troller or trolling method based in uh, deep sea and also we can say that it is based in uh, uh, where we have the fish that are near the seabed. It catches fish in large quantities. Next we have the past training. You can see how it is being drawn. We have uh, a ship and, or a port somewhere there. And in fact we always have uh, a ship and a port. Then we have a net. This is how it looks like. This is uh, the past training method. Uh, the past sending method catches fish that uh, live near the surface of uh, water. It is suitable where we have the shallow waters. Shallow waters. We have what you call the long lining. Long lining, it looks like that. You can see the ship. And also we have lines with some hooks. The question comes that uh, uh, the method is uh, based uh, uh, in deep sea, especially where the, uh, the, the sea is uh, very, very rough. So it is a, a deep sea method uh, that works well where we have uh, 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 the, 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 the sea where the sea uh, is uh, very, very rough. Uh, the next method here we have what you call uh, the net drifting. Net drifting, we can call it net drifting or gill net. You can see what I've done. The net drifting or gill net. Also suitable where we have shallow waters. And also catches fish through what we call gills. So boys and girls, in my picture, you can see the four methods of fishing. This is the first prediction. We have this method. One of them must be captured. So this newspaper um, advocates for learners and the teachers to stress on the fishing methods where applicable. And also, we also teach where, uh, when do we use. For, you know, when we are doing fishing, it depends with the purpose of fishing. If it is for commercial purposes, in fact, things like net drifting, we have pass signing, we have trolling, of course, they work very well, and even the long lining. But we say that um, the trolling method catches fish in large quantities. Another prediction that we, uh, that we have gotten, the weather in instruments. We have both modern and uh, traditional. Modern and traditional. You can see this is a, a barometer that measures humidity. We have um, an anemometer measures the speed of wind. We have uh, the rain gauge measures the rainfall. 
we have uh, a wind vane that measures the direction of wind and uh, remember the tail no the head the arrow of the wind vane points where the wind is blowing from we have what you call a hygrometer sometimes we call it hygrometer all dry and wet bulb thermometers this is an hygrometer and the most learners when they see the word thermometer they think it is uh, used to measure temperature no this is a, a an hygrometer that measures what you call uh, the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere we have what you call the wind sock that measures two elements strength of wind and the wind direction why painted black and white for easy visibility so boys and girls from the prediction we have these instruments being tested one of them can either be a barometer can either be a anemometer or what you call the hygrometer that has the dry dry and the wet bulb thermometers this is hygrometer hygrometer that measures what you call atmospheric uh, pressure or we can see the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere one of them must be tested in an exam so we say that we have to be very much vigilant so that we understand what is being said in an exam we have the mountains also the three mountains are drawn highly tested we have the volcanic we have the fold mountain we have the block mountain or the host mountains we are likely to have one of these mountains captured come in the next two, next two or three weeks from now we have to be very much careful and very much keen these are volcanic we have the greater part of it we have the subsidiary conlet we have the magma we have the vent we have the dike we have to be very much careful this one will be tested either volcanic and a volcanicity or eruption we have fold and a folding you can see even the arrows these are compression of forces then we have the anticline at this point we have the anticline at this point the anticline here we have the anticline the anticline and we have the cyclone at this valley the cyclone at this valley so we have the compression of forces from these sides we have what you call a block mountain or a host mountain highly tested we are going to have one of these mountains this is one of the predictions that we have gotten boys and girls please listen to me and get me clear we might be having a volcanic mountain a block mountain or a fold mountain remember under fold mountains the rocks the rocks have just bent no breaking of the rocks here this one were broken but under the fold mountain is being bent the process is folding you can be asked an example of these mountains we have the atlas mountains that you found at the northern part of africa the northern part of africa then we have the dragons back down here and the cape ranges the southern part of africa these mountains they must be tested they must be captured boys and girls whoever listening to me we have these mountains come next here uh uh come this year i think december yes we have december we have december this year then um from there we have what you call uh, another prediction yes this year we have the sea breeze and the land breeze i want to give a very simple uh, formula what we have written here this is sedalani sedalani means the sea breeze during the day then land breeze during the night and how will you know this are sea breeze compare these arrows they come from the sea you saw these arrows they are from the land if they come from the sea it is a sea breeze that occurs during the day if they come from land it is a land breeze occurs during the night boys and